you're going to need to know how much work to add. So that's why we're going to find out how much work is done when the force is not parallel to the displacement. Work is equal to F parallel times D. That is, work is equal to the component of force parallel to displacement times the displacement. In math terms, this is called a dot product. It allows a vector measurement to become a scalar. That way it can be integrated into energy. So let's say we have a box and it's pulled 15 meters. We want to figure out how much work is done by the person. If we look closely at the rope attached to the box, we can see that it's 255 newtons at a 25 degree angle with the horizontal and the displacement is 15 degrees horizontally. I need to break up the force vector into components parallel and perpendicular to the displacement. So I'm going to make a triangle with one of the sides being parallel to the direction the box is sliding. Don't forget your rules about adding vectors so they go head to tail. Next, I need to know which few force to use to calculate the work. So in this case, I'm just using the force that he's pulling with, but I need the component of the force that's parallel to the displacement. So that's going to be the 255 newtons cosine 25. And again, that's because it's parallel to the displacement. So now I know that the work is equal to F parallel times D. That's 255 newtons cosine 25 times 15 meters. So when you do the math, you get the work to equal 3,467 joules, which, if we're looking at sig figs, would be 3,500 joules. That's with two sig figs. So now we've got the basic idea of how to find work when the force isn't parallel to the displacement. Now let's try to incorporate everything into kind of the, the bigger problem, or the bigger word problem. Here I'm looking for the magnitude of the breaking force. So my breaking force is going to be like friction, so therefore it's going to be parallel to the direction of motion. So in this case, I don't have to worry about the angles. So let's pause this movie and think about the question.